Guys, welcome back to the channel. Now you can probably tell from the backdrop that I'm not in my usual stomping ground of Germany, but I'm here in sunny Spain. I've been lucky enough to be invited down to a place called Toro Adventure here in uh, Spain, run by Linden, the lovely Linden, and he's basically going to be taking a group of us on um, a, a guided tour uh, for a few days in Spain. So I'm just going to take you through most of the, the experience that you can have with him down at, at Toro Adventure. So if you're interested, Stay tuned because it's going to be a blast. I'll see you out on the road. Come on, big man, get on there. <laughs> Have you got everything now? Have you had a poo? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, folks, here we are. Back at, well, not back at Toro. Popping my Toro uh, virginity. Got Bruce next to me, Lyndon is on bike three, two wheels and a ponytail, and Pete English down at the bottom. So we're gonna hit the road in minutes few. What happens when you press that SOS button? Dynamic auto. Sort your life out, young and not been on a GS for a while, but what are these things sticking out the side here, Bruce? Is that just the footrest? Right folks, we're off. Let's do this. The route's all a bit of a surprise, so we're just heading out and we're gonna be stopping somewhere, no idea, hotel's booked. How we're getting there, couldn't tell you. Miss the GS quick shifter, blimey. We're going for lunch already. I'm hungry. Oh, hello. Popping wheelies already, boys. I'll do mine later. Lovely, lovely. So I don't know if you've heard what Bruce just said, we've got this little bit of twisty road and then at the, uh, at the end of this one we're going off-road apparently which is going to be delightful as I've not, I've not done any off-roading for 25 years. Kind of shit in it if I'm honest. I've not taken a GS through a set of bends before anyway. Always been on them a few times, four or five times, but just a shitty, quick and dirty test ride. Nothing, uh, nothing too special. Um, so never really got to appreciate it, to be honest, but. Hello. Whoa, messed that up. Definitely don't like this quick shift do they? Shouldn't use it, right? Oh what a road! Will we see ever see TLR on a GS? His own.
Thank you, please. Whoa! What? <laughs> I'm awake now. Let's put the shit is at me then. Okay. Whoa! I'm not sure I'm liking the front end. Had a bit of a moment there, scared the shit out of me. Right. Relax, maybe two fingers So folks, it's like riding a bike, you never fall off or forget. Please don't go over the edge, please don't go over the edge. Hits and ass, hits and ass, hits and ass, power hits and ass.
like this bike boys, I like this bike. Shit. Awesome road, awesome road. You've upped your pace and I thought Pete had overtaken you and I was looking in my mirrors thinking that was... I thought it was you that come behind me towards the end now then I was checking I saw the red flash on the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're on the twisty stuff, folks. Heading up into the mountains. Ah. Freezing me cock off. It's, it's actually getting a bit nippy. It's down to 12 degrees. <laughs> I'm not putting the heated grips on yet. Yeah, I'm not playing that game. They're going on if it gets much colder. <laughs> Just need a bit of sunshine. There she is, there she is. This is what it's all about. Yes, yes. front end. I think this is the shaft road where he low sided it. Whoa! Sh bloody sheep. <laughs> Came around the corner and there's a bloody sheep or a goat. <laughs> Give you any yeah, reassurance on it. What are you thinking so far then, Sean? 
Oh, awesome, mate, awesome. This is your first time in Spain, isn't it? Uh, yeah, well, I've not been here ever, even in, uh, you know, just to go on holiday and whatnot, let alone, uh, oh, have you not? Let alone ride a bike. Yeah, it's yeah something very, special about here. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> come on, come on. What? Yeah, apart from the dodgy front end. <laughs> Best bike in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Two or three times of the... Uh... The tele lever takes a wee bit getting used to, but I'm, I find now when I get on a bike with traditional forks, feels weird to me now. Okay. Less feel on the front with the tele lever. Yeah, yeah. California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name oh, My body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, I wanna run him through his hair But I'm trying not to stare mm -mm. I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried Myself. Oh, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, I wanna run him through his hair But don't stare Had a spot of luncheon. I definitely should have had a poo. I'm feeling a bit delicate. Oh. Mate, do you need to go? Go if you need to go. There's no way I can ease out a fart, a chuffet. There's no chance. Yeah, I think we're all feeling a bit delicate now. Yeah, that chicken was rough as, man. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, these rucker suits don't let anything in, but do they let stuff out? <laughs> we might find out. Oh, I do feel rough. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. You alright? I thought you were going to puke. <laughs> do you need to go back? I think the chicken's coming back up. 
Yeah, folks, we all had uh, all the me, Bruce, and Pete had chicken and chips for uh, dinner. I think the chicken was a bit rough. I'm trying not to shit myself, and uh, Pete's trying not to spew in his helmet. I might do the full house. The creme brulee, I think that's called, where you poo and, sh and yeah. spew at the same time. Or <laughs> well, the Grand Slam, I think you can call it the Grand Slam as well. The Grand Slam, that's it, yeah, yeah. I've done that a few times before, but on the, on the bog and spewed in the sink. <laughs> it definitely wasn't the uh, breast of the chicken anyway, was it? I think it was just the lips and arseholes. I'd love to ease one out, but I didn't. I'm not sure if I've got any spare pants, so I better not. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sounds like a farmyard on this <laughs> intercom. We had a particularly heavy night last night, folks. We w went on the search for somewhere to eat, found an Irish bar, and it sort of went downhill from there. Bruce, will you f*** off? I want to be in this shot. Well, Sean's a total GS convert now. Look at him, folks. Look at this. Stood up, rocker. He's even got a flip lid. He got the full GS kit for Christmas. Oh, he's looking comfortable, isn't he? He's looking comfortable. Well, they get there, haven't they? 